have some questions, Nicholas. Yes, yes, of course. Okay, we begin with the first question. How long have you been making music? I've been making music um, pretty much since I started playing drums, which okay. is 36 years ago. Ah, yeah, a long time. So I probably answered two questions there. Um, yeah, I, I started playing drums when I was 13. Okay, yeah. yeah. In 1986, a long, long time ago. Yeah. And um, I pretty much um, started playing, making music as soon as I could play drums. Um, I actually started on the guitar. It was forced upon me by my stepfather, but I didn't, I wasn't a guitarist. I have fingers like sausages. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah. drums was more my thing. So yeah, I've been, um, been playing music and playing drums since I was thirteen. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was six, seven. Then was uh, I was five, a five and five. Uh, yeah. Great. Yeah. But it is fun, very fun. <laughs> yeah, for me too. Yeah. The best instruments you can play. Drums. Yes, because everybody has natural rhythm because we have a heartbeat and a pulse. Yeah. And everybody, when everybody hears some music on the radio or a song they like, everybody nods their head or taps their hand. That's right, yeah. Which, which is a natural form of rhythm. Yeah, that's true. Uh... Uh, how many instruments do you play? Um, I can play guitar very badly. Um, okay. But um, I, I, I only really play drums. Ah, okay. But I, I, I've been told that I've got a good singing voice, but again, um, I, I can only drink, I can only sing when I'm drunk because I don't have the confidence. <laughs> Yeah. That's what that's why I like to be at the back covered in drums and cymbals. Uh, yeah. 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 All right. Uh which of you are you most proud of and why? From Sorry, can you repeat that? Uh which C D are you most proud of and why? Um what the C CDs that I've made or Yeah. Okay. Um well, I'd like to think I'm proud of all of them, but some definitely stick out. Um, I'm very proud of the Dimmer Borgia records. Yeah. And the Old Man's Child album I played on. Yeah. Um, I'm proud of all of it, even the Cradle of Filth stuff, even though I don't like that band. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hate to sing <laughs> So yeah, a, a lot of people do. Yeah. I think he knows it too. Well, who says, uh, it sounds, sounds, like, like a, sounds like a dog. He sounds like a dog. He yeah. sounds like a, I don't know what he sounds like. It gives me a headache. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Um, I have had, if you had to trade instruments with someone from your band, with one would you like to trade and why? Uh, I'd like to play bass. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it's two less strings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it'd be easier to play. And also, a bass is big. And because I'm a big guy, I think a guitar would look too small on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, next question Have you ever forgotten something important for a performance? And if so, what then? Uh, yes, I have forgotten something for a, a performance. I forgot to play this, I forgot how to play the song. <laughs> I, counted, I counted four on the hi hats to signature everybody to start at the same time and then my mind went blank so i just carried on playing the hi-hat <laughs> and everybody turned around and looked at me angrily 
Uh, which band for you? Um, that was with Lock Up because we have so many songs because they're short and very fast. Uh, and I counted in too soon before my brain could figure out how does the song start? <laughs> yeah. Okay. With Demi Borger of uh, Cradle. Uh, with Lock Up. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, next question. What brand of drum kit do you have? Uh, I have, well, I'm endorsed by Sona, which is a German company. Yeah. Uh, um, Nico McBrain from Iron Maiden used to play them. Phil Rudd from ACDC. Um, Thomas Huck from um, Meshuggah plays them. Yeah. Uh, but before that, I used to play Pearl Drums. And I still have two Pearl Drum kits. And I have five Sona Drum kits. One, one is in the USA, though. Okay, yeah, I play uh, Pearl. 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 Oh, very good. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been playing? Uh, um, four years? Yeah, I don't know, four years. Four years. Wow. Yeah. Uh, who are your favorite drummers? Uh, Mano Duplantier, uh, uh, Grosjera. Yes, he's brilliant. He's a good friend of mine. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I know Mario very well. Okay. Yeah, uh, I meet him uh, sometimes. Yeah. Two times, three times. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Excellent. One time uh, I, uh, in Amsterdam and in uh, uh, Dynamo. And, yeah. And uh, the security, the, they, uh, yeah, they uh, threw me on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Then I, uh, yeah, I, gi yeah, the, the, I give the drummer, uh, yeah, a drawing. a drawing. Yeah. Oh, well, very good. Yeah, I. Great... I have a drum Mario stick is a great guy. Yeah, I have a drumstick from him. Yeah. Three. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, he's a great guy, Mario. Yeah, and uh, Bar Kolstad from uh, Leprous. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Thomas Haken. Yeah. From Shura. Yes. I'm, and uh, yeah. and you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm very, I'm very honored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. There was uh, someone, uh, uh, George Lucas from uh, N Nile. Yeah. George Colias. Yeah, George Colias. Yeah, George Lucas is the Star Wars guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool too. The yeah. guy, I thought, I, I don't know if he plays drums, but I like Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Galactic Empire. Oh, Galactic Empire. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> truly. Uh, yeah, I I was. Who uh, 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 was the Yeah. Um, two names <laughs> mixed up. <laughs> Next step. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, but okay. Uh, George Carlos. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been uh, playing with a double pedal? Uh, I don't play double pedal. Uh, I play two single pedals. Ah, okay. Um, I have two bass drums. Yeah. yeah. And um, what I would suggest to any drummer is learning double bass is always try and play with two two separate bass drums. Yeah. Because it's it's a much better technique. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've been playing. Double bass drums since 1990. Okay, yeah. So 30 years. Yeah, a long time. That makes me feel like a very old man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I play uh, double bass below uh, one year now. Excellent. Well done. Yeah. Can I'm a good uh, drummer. Yeah. Yeah. I play, uh, I can play two songs from Demon. 
Oh, know. really? Yeah. Which songs? Uh, uh, Gangs of the Carnival Creation. Oh, brilliant. Uh, yeah, the, the blast beats are fast for me. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I can play the bl uh, blast beats, uh, yeah, since a month. Very good. And uh, ook nog, uh, yeah, there uh, was, yeah, uh, I was forgotten uh, the other name uh, from the song. Uh, yeah. uh, Puritania? Uh, no, no, not that song. That song. Uh, uh, I don't, uh, something with round, I, uh, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, uh, I will let you know one time. <laughs> okay, thank you. I but, look forward. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you, you are a good drummer with uh, nice songs to drum. Thank you. And Kings of the Carnival Creation is uh, some of the good, fine songs to play on drum. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, how did you end up with this band? Uh. Sorry, just one second. <laughs> okay. Could you repeat the question, please? Sorry, I had to plug my phone in. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, how did you end up with this band? With Dimmer Borg here? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> we were friends before. Okay. Uh, because, yeah, because I, w I was in Cradle of Filth before Dimmer Borgia, and we were friends and we toured together um, and we played some festivals together. We played Dynamo Festival together yeah. and Grass Pop, um, some other festivals. And I heard from a, from a friend, uh, a producer, record producer called Peter Tatgren, who is in the band Hypocrisy. Ah, who bet? He's a, he's a very famous record producer. He's produced Hypocrisy, Marduk, Dark Funeral, Enslaved, Immortal, Ooh. Uh, Dimmu Borgir. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he, was, he actually told me that Dimmu was looking for a new drummer, and he thought that I would be perfect. So, when I left Cradle of Filth in January '99, I was I was actually still in Cradle of Filth when I flew to Norway for uh, audition. Okay, yeah. And um, I played the audition. I played some songs from the Enthroned Triumphant Darkness album. Yeah. I played uh, Morning Palace. Yeah. In Death's Embrace. Yeah. Uh, and Spellbound for the Devil. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Spellbound. The, that was ah, the song I can uh, I could play. Okay. Great. That's a great <laughs> song. Yeah. <coughs> so what? I flew to Norway. I flew to Norway and played these songs. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, the band thought it was great. And then we went out to the pub and, and we got drunk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good boy. Okay, yeah. Um, um, yeah. If you can choose two bands to play together at the festival, which one do you choose? Which band? Yeah. Um, probably Dimmu or Testament. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, how long have you loved metal music? All of my life, I... uh, my stepfather, um, he wasn't a very nice man, but he had great taste in music. Yeah. And um, I used to listen to all of his vinyl records as a child when I was six and seven and eight. And um, I really, really, it was a style of music that just spoke to me. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I've been a fan of it ever since. Now I'm older, I'm almost 50 years old, 
I do like a lot of other music besides metal, but metal was my first love. Yeah. <laughs> uh, drumming was my first love. Sorry? Drumming was my first love. Well, it, it, the music came first and then the drums. It was the music that made me want to play drums. Yeah. Uh, the first, first, the first time I saw Iron Maiden on top of the Pops in 1982, that's when I knew I wanted to be a drummer. Okay. Yeah, first I play uh, drums and, uh, yeah, then come the, then comes the metal music. Yeah. Um, okay. What's the strangest thing that ever happened to you during a performance? The strangest thing? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. It happens to be the most embarrassing thing, too. <laughs> um, it happened in Finland. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. We had, to, we had to take the ferry from Sweden to Finland. Okay. And on the, and on the ferry, I ate some sea fish, uh -oh. some shellfish. Oh. And um, it tasted great. But the next morning, I woke up and I was sick. Ooh. I had diarrhea and everything, and you cannot go to the toilet on the tour bus. You have to go inside. So the club was closed. It was in like five o'clock in the morning. It's all snow outside. So I just had to run off the bus and find somewhere to go to the toilet. Anyway, yeah. so later that night, I was complaining that I was sick and I couldn't play, and the tour manager made me play. Um, and on the very last song, Morning Palace, I had an accident on the stage. <laughs> so uh -oh. I had to run off the stage and uh, go straight to the dressing room. It was very embarrassing. Okay. Yeah. I shit my pants, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Live on stage. <laughs> yeah. Um... That, that was the most embarrassing Thing that's ever happened to me yeah um do you ever have limb log during a performance do i ever sorry could you repeat that uh, uh, uh do you ever have the limb log log during a performance i cannot stop uh, cannot stopping uh stop laughing I, I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Uh, if you ever have to laugh so hard during a performance, you cannot stop. Uh, yeah, I have done that before. Okay. But uh, I, I just, see, I can hide it because I can just put my head down. And nobody <laughs> can see me. But it's usually, it's usually when the other guys in the band, when they turn around to face me, so their back is to the audience, and they'll make some joke between us because the crowd cannot see him because he's talking to me. And then I'll just start laughing and I have to put my head down and concentrate on the drums. Otherwise I'll make a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite, uh, what, what is your favorite band? Um, well, I have many favorite bands. Um, my favorite rock bands, Metal bands. Um, I love old ACDC. Yeah. Particularly the Bon Scott era. <laughs> um, I love Judas Priest. Yeah, nice band. I love Iron, I love Iron Maiden. Oh. I love Rush. Okay. Yeah. He's Neil Peart is my favorite drummer of all time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I love Slayer. Yeah. I love Exodus. Yeah. Okay. Um, I love Morbid Angel, old Morbid Angel. Yeah. Um, the Dead Kennedys. Okay, yeah. They're a, they're a punk band. Um, I, I love so much music. I love many, many bands. Yeah. Yeah. I it's love difficult to pick one favourite because I love so many. Yeah, I do. Uh, I love... 
Oh, very much. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and death metal and black metal. So, you do you like Dream Theater? Yeah, yeah, I know it. Good band. Yeah. 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 Have you ever heard Rush? Rush. Uh, from the surfer. Yeah, my. my because they they are like the kings of prog. Okay. Yeah. 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 We, we, Without Rush, there wouldn't be no Dream Theater or Demons and Wizards or yeah, Dream and or Opeth. Oh yeah, that, that is uh, one of my favorite bands, Opeth. Yeah, we, without Rush, there would be no Opeth. Yeah, yeah. a very nice band is it? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Opeth. Sugar, I I like Sugar too. Very good. Yeah, I'm I'm not so much a fan of the music because it's too complicated for me. But I'm really good friends with the guys, and Thomas is a very good friend. Yeah. His his fiance Jessica, who was in the TV show Orange Is the New Black, she also sings in my band Brujeria. Okay. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Uh, I like Ojira, uh, Opeth, and Leprous. Um, yeah, that's Rotten, great. Rotten Christ, I have a shirt oh, from Rotten Christ. Great on. band, they're a yeah. great band. I've seen it on Alcatraz. Yeah, they're good friends too. Sarkis and Timis is good friends. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. um, um, I like uh, yeah, you Earth can. Sight. Uh, great. And Haken, Persephone, uh, yeah, and uh, some more. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. And uh, next question: what, yeah. what kinds of music do you like besides metal? I like all kinds of music. I listen to a lot of soundtrack music. Okay, yeah. Um, I listen to, I listen to Elvis, Johnny Cash. Hank Williams, uh, I listen to The Cure, Sisters of Mercy, um, Bauhaus, The Mission. Um, I like hip hop. I like old school hip hop from the 80s and the early 90s. NWA, Ice Cube, Ghetto Boys. Um, I even like some Katy Perry songs. <laughs> but, but that's only because I have daughters. <laughs> So, um, yeah. I listen to all kinds of music. Um, good music is good music, Odin. It doesn't matter w w what genre it is. If you like it, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, many many of the bands that you like and many of the bands that I like in metal, they all listen to a very, very wide range of different music. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also like Genesis and the Police because... Obviously, um, Phil Collins is one of my favorite drummers since a child. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Many people don't recognize him as a drummer, only as a singer. Okay. But he's an incredible drummer. And also, Stuart Copeland, the drummer of The Police, is also another favorite. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, next question. Uh, have, you, have you ever lost your way? Do a performance? <laughs> yes. Uh, the dressing room was in the basement in this big place, and um, it was like a it was like a maze for mice, like a labyrinth. And um, we totally took the wrong direction, and we could hear the intro playing, and we got totally lost. And then the intro stopped playing. And the crowd was cheering, and we we weren't even on the stage yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was a little bit embarrassing. Yeah. Um, next question. Uh, how long have you been performing with your bands? Um, how long have I been performing? Um, well, I've been in Brujeria um, for 20 years now. Okay, yeah, yeah. But some other drummers have replaced me 
in the past temporarily because I had other commitments with other bands. So um, I've been in been in Brewery for 20 years. I played in Lockup for 20 years before I decided to quit last month. Okay. Um, I played in Cradle of Filth for six years, Dimu for five years. Uh, I was in Testament for one year. Ah, okay. I've just got a new band started now, uh, um, a New York hardcore band. Okay, yeah. Called Borstal. Yeah, cool. Cool. Uh, next question. Which band do you think is really stupid and why? <sighs> There's so many. So many bands to name. <laughs> I think 90% of the bands are stupid. Mm -hmm. uh, cradle. Uh, yeah, they're, they're in the top 10. Yeah, uh, and uh, ABBA. I love ABBA. I did. <laughs> Absolutely love ABBA. I love ABBA, Tom Jones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we listen to we listen to ABBA and the Bee Gees on the tour bus very much. Uh, it turns into a disco after uh, we play. No yeah. heavy metal, only disco music. <laughs> I would leave the tour bus. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you see, for us, uh, old because we're old men now and we've been playing metal all of our lives, it becomes like a day job. Yeah. So when you play it all day, the last thing you want to hear on tour is Dimmer Borgir or Rotting Christ. You know, we want nice, relaxing music. Yeah. Uh, but... Uh... The, the most uh, music, pop music, uh, I hate. Yeah, sometimes we even listen to Frank Sinatra. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah. The yeah. Some uh, pop songs are heavier, and uh, heavy pop songs uh, more rock. You can say. Uh, I. I can like so, some song, songs of uh, the bands from the genre. Yes. Uh, some uh, songs I like. Great. Yeah. Um, next, so, uh, next question. Uh, how do you like playing in a video clip? Uh, I hate it. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you why. Because you have to play along to the, you have to play along to the song mime, for maybe two hundred times. Because the cameraman has to film it from many different angles, before it's edited. Yeah. So, they will film. You you'll have to listen to the, to the same song, maybe two hundred times in one day, and keep, <laughs> playing, keep playing it over and over and over again. You know, um, I, I like to, the reason why I like the drums so much is because I'm at the back of the stage covered in drums and cymbals. You know, I, I don't want people to see me. I just want people to hear me. But in a, in a music video, you, musicians have to try and act. And we're not actors, we're musicians. Mm -hmm. You can hide uh, behind the drums. I try to hide as much as possible. Yeah. Hide and seek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, isn't the live show on stage driving you crazy? Um, when, the, when, the, when, the lighting, when the lighting engineer makes the strobe, you know, the flash? Yeah. That makes me go crazy. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. And uh, last question. Uh, do you have any tips for me as young drummer? Yes. Um, just practice as much as you possibly can without driving your mum crazy. <laughs> and 
My sister will. Uh, my sister hates that I drive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I drive. I driving her crazy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Also, another thing is try to play with as many different musicians as you can possibly, because playing with other musicians is great experience. So try to play with as many different friends as you can. Yeah, difficult. Difficult. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fine tip. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for the interview. And I You're hope very welcome. You're yeah. very welcome. And it's I hope a... to see you playing live soon. Yes, I hope so too. It's been an absolute pleasure, Odin. Yeah. Um, as soon as I have some concerts in holland um i will let you know and yeah, maybe yeah. you can come and visit and play on the drums uh much uh, that will be amazing but uh yeah i yeah, well we'll try and make that happen yeah um <laughs> He says he still has to practice a lot, but he That's would okay. love to. <laughs> That's great. We'll try and make that happen. Okay? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I, I need a year, a, new, a year, two years for uh, four songs. Uh, <laughs> uh, That's if, okay. I, if I four songs could play, uh, yeah, ever by the movie, what the, yeah. Great. Uh, awesome. uh, and two years. Then, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I would great. let you know. I would let you know. Excellent. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you, Odin. Yeah. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, goodbye. You're very welcome, buddy. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> okay, you take care. Metal forever. Metal forever! All but right,